I recently tried out the On Cloud Monster, a shoe built with maximum cushion for road running, jogs, and walking. I didn't know too much of the brand. I mean, I've been seeing them around for a while and they looked comfortable, so I decided to take them for a ride. I went on their website looking at a bunch of different models, but I took this pair because it featured their biggest cloud tech ever and a maximum cushioning. And boy, that cloud tech is pretty nice. I like my shoes to be super comfortable and responsive. Luckily for me, this shoe did exactly what I was looking for. But before I get into the performance of the shoe, let's talk about the details. The shoe is made of a flexible mesh upper and recycled content like polyester on the tongue and the laces. Their Cloudtech uses a Helion foam which you see throughout the entire midsole. That's basically their main cushion system. On Running is a Swiss brand so you gotta love that Swiss engineering on the back. They gotta let people know. I like that, some pride. You also see that Cloudtech glossy on the side of the shoe. I think it pops really nice. And a small on branding on the toe box of the shoe. The shoe weighs 275 grams and has a six millimeter heel to toe drop. Anywhere between five to eight millimeters is considered mid. So most people should be fine with that type of drop. Unless of course you're looking specifically for a lower drop or a higher drop. There's a lot of differences between the two. The main difference is that a lower drop shoe uses your foot, ankle, and lower leg. Whereas the higher drop shoe which is more your hips and knees. Finally, this shoe is held together by that speed board. It's basically a plate that they put there to help keep you stable and give you support when you run. The traction on the shoe is decent. Remember, these are a road running shoe and I think it grips really well on the cement or the sidewalk. The shoe is personally the most comfortable shoe I have ever ran in. The Cloud Tech doesn't disappoint. It's very cushiony and it rebounds very well. I couldn't stop squishing on the cloud foam and pressing on it. It's actually kind of addicting. I've ran in other shoes before on the road that really hurt my feet when I started to run just for a little while and these did not do that. They absorbed the impact and energy really well and it puts less stress on my foot. The shoe allows me to stride very easily and complements the way I run which when I'm running or jogging I land on my heel first and the slight drop from heel to toe helps me out. The materials are comfortable enough. The mesh does its job with ventilation. The only thing I would say is you would want to go up half a size, maybe a whole full size. I got these in a 10 and a half, which is the same size I wear my basketball shoes in. And it only gave me like half a thumbnail's worth of length. You typically would want a full thumbnail's worth of length because when you're running, your foot actually expands when you hit the ground. So you're gonna want that extra space, especially for a more comfortable and longer ride. Sizing aside, I felt really good in this shoe. I didn't mind the thick midsole. I mean, it adds about an inch to your height, so you can't complain there. It was very comfortable, flexible, and lightweight. The only thing I would have to say about this shoe that was a real issue for me is that $170 price point. I know inflation is high and things like that, but I'm just cheap at heart and it feels really hard to spend that much money for a shoe that I'm just about to mess up. But if you have the money and you don't care about saving some money or being cheap with running shoes, you're looking for a high quality shoe with extreme cushioning, then look no further than the On Cloud Monster. It didn't disappoint, at least for me. But On Running does have a slew of other models for different occasions. So keep in mind what kind of runner are you, what you're looking for. Remember, these are a road running shoe. So if you're looking for something like Trail, you'll have to look for a different type of running shoe. Uh, because these won't help in that department. If you guys are interested in seeing more reviews on other types of running shoes, then subscribe for more videos and maybe I'll cover more on running if this shoe does well. Like the video if you guys enjoyed and until next time guys, peace.